Hey everyone, this is Baylor from LDDCreations.com and in this video I actually have a quick tip for you using LDD. So I'm going to open up a new project and what I want to show you is that when you first look at this you'll notice that it has this, this palette over here with all the different pieces and then you also have this palette over here that shows you a few different things about design by me and then you also have these camera controls and you have everything in here on the screen. Well when you add that all together it makes it where the actual area that you work on your LDD file is really small so one thing that I like to do is I like to hide this palette here and I also like to remove these camera controls so the way you can do that is it's really easy to move all of that or remove it I should say if you go to view in the menu bar and you choose hide camera control it'll hide those little four arrows and the different things down here so you don't actually see those and another thing that you can do is if you go to view hide and show web browser then it removes this so I can click up here and remove that or you can just click on these little arrow keys you can do whichever you prefer both of them are pretty much easy to access so the other thing that I like to do because now I have all this space and I realized I was talking about I want to remove space but I like to drag this palette out just about that wide that way I can see quite a few more pieces whenever I actually click on this so I don't have such a long scroll bar but you'll notice even though I did that I still have to scroll a really long time just to get to the bottom where I have all these really big pieces these 2 by 10 bricks one thing that you, another thing that you can do that makes that a lot easier to minimize that is if you click on this little hide colors icon, what it'll do is when I click on this, you can see that it's shrunk quite a bit and I only see one brick of each type. Okay, so here's the one by one stud or brick here. You'll notice that little icon over the top of it. What that means is when I mouse over this, it actually fans out so I can actually click on the piece color that I was looking for. So if I want this orange, then I click on that and I can add that. So if I was looking for that 2x10 brick, if I find it, here it is, mouse over, I can choose it in black and I could add it. Okay, so that makes LDD a lot faster. Another thing that if I was looking at detailed pieces now, so if I go to like the minifigs here, and you can see somewhere, here's the little minifig head, if I right click to try to look at one of them, it moves them all at the same time. So this one has two heads on it, or two faces. So you can actually rotate these around. When you click on one, it moves them all. So thanks for watching this video. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave them in the comment section below this video. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.